How's it going everybody? It's Red Drum here again to bring you a special video for you guys that keep asking this one question on my videos. What is my add-ons and my UI setup? So today I'm going to be giving you that exact answer for you guys. So the add-ons that I use are not that much but there is quite a few. So we'll go over those first before we dive real deep into this. I use Atlas Loot, Auctionator, I use cross realm assist, error filter because I don't like seeing red text on my screen when I can't do something. I've been playing this game way too long to not really understand that kind of stuff. Get the fuck out. Mog it because I'm a huge mog person. I love transmog. NPC scan to know when rares are up. Postal. SCADA. Uh, tidy plates isn't working right now for well, the version that I have so don't really worry about that. Weak Auras 2. LVY, uh, World Quest Tracker, NPC Scan Overlay. So that's my add-ons that I use. The main one that I use is LVY, which is what you see right here. And you'll get a screen when you access the uh, user interface for LVY. And this is basically what it looks like as a whole. Now this is my own little tweaked version. It will not look like this out of the gate. And I'll explain how to get what is my setup. So let's dive right into this. First thing you need to know, LVI by itself will not look like this like I explained. You'll need this shadow and light implementation, it's like a plugin, and you can download it from Curse or LVI's website. This is a very heavily installed add-on, you can customize it even more with this. What I'll do is when you get prompted when you, after you install it, you'll get this. You want to disable armory mode if you don't want this. Now their armory mode is a lot different. It's a huge black box. It has a lot of like details. It has more than just a standard one, but I like Blizzard's standard user interface for the character screen or armory mode, whatever you want to call it. AFK mode, which is by far the coolest thing about this entire thing. When you're AFK, you know, you get this flashy screen and you come back to something really nice, you know, since I'm horde has a horde symbol and an orc symbol, uh neat little messages to your character walk in you know it's pretty cool you know it explains details and I think that's really neat so let's go back to shadow and light move blizzard frames now this is really really cool and neat I like it a whole lot it's like bartender but a lot better in my opinion so you can move anything blizzard like that like their frames so you can move anything you want I like it so you can make it your own you can have things where you want it and it just overall looks a lot better when you can make it your own as a whole and shadow and light imports you don't have to you really pick those I use Darth's configuration but you really don't have to pick this because you'll be using my code for my UI setup and I'll show you how to do that authors present you know you just press finished when you're done so let's look at my settings real fast general you want to disable thin border theme this will be automatically enabled disable it because you will not get these thick looking boxes and it'll look kind of weird so you want to disable that it helps like spells stand out and so on loot's turned off because their loot frames suck uh, bottom panel on top panel off auto scale off and action bars enabled I have the uh, micro bar enabled one two five six pet bar stance I don't have stance bar on there right now because you know words don't have stances anymore um, bags I haven't enabled and the bags look like this I like that it's got a cleanup button you know you toggle your bags deconstruct mode uh, vendor grays it's pretty cool I like it uh, buffs and debuffs enabled whenever you enter my settings it'll automatically change these chat enabled you can have either or you can even make a chat over here on my left appear on the right you can have two chat boxes I usually just stick my scado or my DPS meter over there because I like to have a quick glance over there and have my chat over to the left data bars which you see over here which is my honored and artifact power and XP bar if you're leveling will be over here on the right of your artif not artifact but your action bars. Data text what you see down here which is this big bar that shows you absolutely everything about your character. I did this myself. This is my own spin-off. 
So you're going to get this huge bar, tells you your gold, your friends online, shows this huge thing, guild, durability, how many, like how long you've been in combat, bags, FPS, MS, mastery, crit, haste, and then I don't know why I have mastery over there again, but why not? Uh, your item level and your spec and your loot spec. Uh, map, I have the LVI map. Nameplates, I have it enabled. And like I said again, when you import my settings, it'll import all the settings over there like these. This is what the LVI nameplates look like. So when you charge in, you know, say I want to do a fear, it'll scale it to what that looks like. Now, the standard one is looks like kind of flat, the icons are, so that looks kind of lame, but I fixed it and it looks a whole lot better. And skins, I have Blizzard and Ace 3 turned off, but you can leave either of these on if you want to, if you like LVI's standard uh, UI look for like your armory mode so on. Uh, unit frames are these. My unit frames are my own. I pretty much made like the skin texture on the back and so on. So you'll be able to get these, get the exact same shape, uh, width and everything position when you enter my settings in the code. And my profile is, I use default, but I have a whole lot because I have a lot of alts, but this is how you get mine. I'll export it and I'll put it into a paste bin. And it's a very, very long code. Okay. What you want to do is you want to go down to profiles. When you have every bit of that set up, you want to go down to import profiles, copy and paste this in here. And then import now, it'll ask you, are you sure? Then you press yes and it'll reload your UI and it'll look just like mine. And if not, you can pause my video and just kind of work around a little bit like nitpicky a little bit about it if you want to be but uh, that's how you get my UI set up so I hope this helped you guys to keep asking that question I was super happy to make this video for you guys and I'm glad you guys like my UI I've been playing the same UI for a while sometimes I move some bars here and there some of my videos on my top bar on my second bar right here had like another one up here but uh, I changed it moved over here to the left but that's about anything, that's the only thing that's really changed with my UI. But I'll see you guys later and I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have fun in Legion.